dear American girl, formerly known as Pleasant Company. Thank you so much for 35 years of excellence. Thank you for the inspiring stories, the amazing characters, and the beautiful dolls. My friends and I have been fans of this brand for decades. I still remember the year 1994 when I was six years old and I first discovered the Pleasant Company catalog. My mom's friend worked as a housekeeper for a wealthy family and her boss would often offer her to take home these boxes full of clothing catalogs. My mom's friend asked my mom if she wanted one of these boxes. My mom agreed and brought into the apartment a box full of catalogs. I remember rummaging through it and when I pulled out the Pleasant Company catalog, I was stunned. On the cover was a young girl with her doll and they had matching outfits. I remember flipping through the catalog, fascinated that the entire catalog was about these dolls and each doll had their own story. They had beautiful clothing and accessories and even their own furniture. I fell in love and I knew that I wanted my own American Girl doll. But the price point was beyond what my parents could afford at the time. So I had to wait. After four years, one Christmas morning, underneath the Christmas tree was a long rectangular box. When I unwrapped it, I found Samantha Parkington. I had finally received my very own American Girl doll. Words cannot describe the immense joy and gratitude I felt in that moment because it wasn't just a Christmas gift. It wasn't just a toy, it was a wish fulfilled, a dream come true. The long wait was certainly worth it. When I look back on my childhood, the happiest memories are because of Pleasant Company, because of American Girl. Even if for most of those years all I had was the catalog, I didn't have the doll yet, but I I received so much joy just from the catalog. And that's why I'm so grateful that for the 35th anniversary, American Girl has brought back the original characters in their original meat outfits. These are the girls that I grew up with. Felicity, Josefina, Kirsten, Addie, Samantha, Molly. Those are my girls. When I think back on my childhood, I think about Pleasant Company and American Girl. I am also so grateful that for the 35th anniversary, American Girl has released three new characters who are all passionate about different social causes. I myself am passionate about all these social causes, but this one is near and dear to my heart. This is Maritza Ochoa, a young girl who is passionate about the social cause of immigration. Immigration is a broad topic, but my heart goes out to all immigrants, past and present, from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, from Latin America. Because immigrants are brave souls that leave everything behind. Their friends, their family, their support system, their country in search for a better life. One might ask, why would anyone do that? Why would anyone abandon everything to come to the United States? Especially when immigrants face so many challenges once they get here. But the truth is... No one would take that leap of faith if they didn't believe that what was waiting for them on the other side was a better life. And um, for that reason, my heart goes out to all immigrants. But today, I want to talk about a special group of immigrants, the dreamers. These were 
uh, immigrants who were brought here as babies, many under a year old. Many of these took their first steps here on this land, said their first words in English. Dreamers came here as babies, as toddlers, and as children. They completed their elementary school here, their middle school, high school. Many have gone on to receive bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and even PhDs. Now these young children are not so young anymore. They're adults. They're professionals. They are doctors, dentists, veterinarians, lawyers, teachers, scientists, researchers. Some of them have served in the military, in the army, the air force, the navy, the marines. In their hearts and souls, these young people are Americans, but on paper, they are not. On paper, they are not acknowledged. They have contributed so much to American society. They are taxpayers. They, they help by providing services. Some of them are entrepreneurs and provide jobs for U.S. citizens. Educators educate U.S. citizens. They have been providing for American society and American and the American economy, but they have not been receiving much back. They are not recognized as, as legal residents. They have no permanent residency. They don't have citizenship, and that alone causes a lot of challenges and a lot of limitations for these young people. Their lives hang in the balance and has been for many years. These young people are called dreamers because in 2001, a legislation was introduced called the Dream Act. The Dream Act was created to create a path to citizenship. But 20 years have passed. We're now in the year 2021 and the Dream Act has still not been passed. It's been going back and forth from the House to the Senate but it hasn't been passed into law yet. We're technically in the 20th anniversary, but we can't celebrate the anniversary because it hasn't passed yet. But I am optimistic. I believe that this year, 2021, in its 20th anniversary, the Dream Act will pass. And I'm so thankful for American Girl for creating a doll and a story that puts a spotlight and a platform to this social cause. Thank you so much to American Girl. Thank you so much, and we will always be fans of the brand.